how I landed a paid cybersecurity internship without any IT experience or IT degree. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off this video just telling you a bit about me and my background. I feel like this would be useful for you to know my starting point and how I came about cybersecurity. I graduated this year with a bachelor's degree in science. I graduated from the University of Cape Town. I majored in biochemistry and human anatomy and physiology. And so as you can hear, that has absolutely nothing to do with IT. And then after I graduated, I worked as a store manager for a bit in a university store that sold uniforms, scrub sets, things of that nature. That's just a very brief background about myself how does it how does cybersecurity fit into all of this as i was doing my degree i was exposed to it here and there out of my own interest i came across a lot of very short coding courses from free code Cam code academy i just did the basic courses the basic html and python courses and this kind of piqued my interest i was like hmm I am doing a chemistry biology based degree but I'm really interested in a career in tech because my intention with my degree was then to move into the health sciences but as I was continuing with my degree I just did not see myself working in that field and so I was like okay I really need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I did do a bioinformatics course in my final year and I did think that my career would be in that so bioinformatics is computer science and biology kind of combined so you're analyzing very complex biological data so I thought that I was then going to go into the bioinformatics field but unfortunately I did not get accepted into my honors program. I was still at this point really banking on the fact that I was going to be somewhere in tech. I just didn't know where. Even after the academic year ended in 2023, I just kind of needed a little bit of time to figure out what the hell I was going to do with my life. I started working at the store and it was during the beginning of this year where I came across cybersecurity. It was just basic day in my life sort of thing. My idea of cybersecurity at this point was just purely surveillance security type of things. I didn't know that it was such a big field within technology. But I did more research into it and I was like, wait, I can actually get behind this. I really find protecting people and protecting systems to be very interesting. So I started doing more research and then I thought to myself, I could actually see myself working in this field. And the beautiful thing about tech is that you don't need a relevant degree to actually just get a job in the field that's a bit about my background and introduction to cybersecurity and tech in general being someone with no IT experience, I had no help this experience, no relevant IT degree as you as you heard. How did I actually go about now trying to get a job in IT? I did a whole lot of research, a whole lot of YouTube videos, trying to figure out how people who have actually walked the path, what they did and how they did it. The one common denominator that I feel like I gathered from a lot of different creators is that everybody recommends taking the security pass exam. So I started researching into the security pass exam, figured, okay, you know, let me actually start studying for this since everybody seems to be recommending it. And so while I was still working at the university store, I started studying for this exam. After a couple of months, I decided to stop working at the store just so I could fully focus on it. I was privileged enough to be able to stop working and fully hone in all of my attention and focus into studying for this exam. And so I did that. I started studying. And keep in mind, this was my introduction to all of the security concepts. Everything that was in this exam was my introduction to cybersecurity in general. And throughout studying for this exam, I started identifying my weak points and just things that I didn't know. I didn't have the basic idea. IT knowledge. So I decided to hop into YouTube again. I searched around and I came across, I think his name is DFIR something. I'll put it up here. And he has this guide that basically paves the way for someone who has no IT experience or degree to eventually land a cybersecurity role. And so I had a look at this guide and I was like, okay, before actually studying for the security plus exam or doing the security plus exam, he recommends to do the A plus exam, which is also under CompTIA. But this is more like basic IT knowledge. And so I wasn't going to take this exam because it is quite expensive, but I did study the contents of it. This just gave me more of a solid foundation and understanding of various IT concepts. So I did that i also did the google it support certificate on coursera and that just also just solidified the various concepts in my head and then i started studying for the security plus exam during this time i was also doing a whole lot of rooms on try hack me just trying to solidify things that i already knew and also learn new concepts and i feel like that was also a helpful platform for me to actually learn more about cybersecurity in general at the beginning of this year, I did not have a LinkedIn account, but figured that I actually needed to create one since I was going to start applying for jobs. So I created myself a LinkedIn account and as I completed various Try Hack Me rooms and completed my Google IT certificate and anything that I did that I felt would be recognized by employers that would skim through my account, I posted that. And I tried to be consistent. I'll be honest, over the past couple of weeks, I haven't been posting as much, but I do plan to continue posting as I acquire more knowledge and learn about different tools. I do want to post that because if there's one thing that I've heard from 
people that have already walked the path is to have a very good LinkedIn account that is documenting your entire journey so people can actually see your passion. And that's what I did. And I also use LinkedIn to see what jobs were available within the space just so I could keep tabs on it. Not necessarily that I was going to apply because my plan was to only apply around August time when I've actually completed the BFIR roadmap. And then once I felt like I did enough projects so that I could opt that in for my experience because I didn't have any IT experience. So the projects would be my experience. So once I had enough projects, once I did all of the certifications that I needed to do, then I would start applying. I obviously didn't complete this roadmap. Still had a lot of things to do on this roadmap. But then an internship close to my area popped up. All that this internship required was some sort of an IT diploma or certificate and an interest in cybersecurity. And so I was like, wait, I have the Google IT support certificate that could count. And also, I do have an interest in cybersecurity. I mean, I quit my job so that I could focus on it. And also, I'm studying for the Security Plus exam. So if they do ask any questions about that, like, I know I have that behind me. And so I applied for the job. I thought that they wouldn't accept me because I didn't have a proper IT certificate. I just had some certificate from Coursera. But to my surprise, they did. And that's why I say, just apply to whatever you want to apply to, even if you don't have all of the specification that they require for you to have. So after about two days of me applying, I actually received an email back from HR saying that I made it through to the next round of assessments and interviews. So I just had to fill in an application for me to uh, book the assessment day. So there was only going to be two assessment days and it was going to be for a whole pool of applicants. So the day started off at 9 a.m. We did a couple of assessments. So there was three assessments. The first assessment was just to test your overall comprehension. It had nothing to do with cybersecurity, but it was just, I guess, to see how smart you are. And then the last two assessments were to do with cybersecurity. Now, I feel like I was the only one there who didn't have an IT degree and relevant IT experience. The only thing that I had at the back of me was my studying for the Security Plus exam. I aced all of those assessments, especially the last two that, that were cybersecurity based because I had all of this knowledge in my head, you know, studying for the Security Plus exam. That was the first round that we needed to get past in order to actually start taking the interviews. So they informed all of the candidates there that we all did well enough in the assessments to be able to go on to the interview process. And so they called us one by one. I was the first one because my initials are AA. And I would say that the reason that I was successful in actually getting this internship was one because I was already studying for the security pass exam so I had that passion and then two my interview was very successful so if you're not someone who's good at interviews I would advise you to hire a coach so that you can actually be good at interviews because that was actually something that the interviewers were saying to me when they were interviewing me was that I looked confident that I was smiling that I had good posture and so if you're someone who lacks in those areas or you just don't interview well in general I would say work on your interview skills and also just work on solidifying the basic cybersecurity internships because even though we did do the cybersecurity assessment beforehand they did ask me basic cybersecurity questions within the interview itself because there was only four positions available and there was almost close to 30 candidates who were interviewing and who took the assessments someone with no IT experience like me if you can show your passion through your interview and through the things that you do then you can get that so that's just my experience and I hope that you could learn something from that